everyone. Um, just going to show you how to open up Acumark Explorer. I've got a shortcut on my desktop, but you could go to the Start menu and open up Acumark version 11 and look for Acumark Explorer. So I'm going to open up from my shortcut. And when it opens, you'll get the splash screen and then you'll get this kind of uh, screen showing with the three different uh, panels within the screen. On this screen here, if I just minimise that, you can see that we've got all the different drives that are associated with my computer here. The C drive, which belongs to the computer, then the D, E and F drives, which are um, extend extensions, uh, portable hard drives or USBs or whatever. And then we've got the RMIT H drive. As soon as I click on one of those, I'll click on the F one, it will open up all of the storage areas that I've got for Acumark in that particular um, device. When I open up one of the storage areas here, the middle pane will also show which um, storage area I'm opening and what files are contained within it. So I can either open it from here or I can scroll through here. So let's say I want to open up C7501. So that's a model name and the storage area is containing that model. So if I double click on that, it will open up the model. The model shown here with the um, little square that's got other rectangles inside it. And then all the pattern pieces that go with the model are listed here. And that icon is like a square with the corner chunk taken out of it. Down the bottom, we've also got a rule table for grading. So we've got model, pattern pieces that belong to the model and the rule table. Now, I can open up a model from here. I can open up any of the pieces. I need to use my right click button, my right mouse button to get a little drop down menu that's got some options on it. If I click away and just click on it, you can see over here in the third part of the panel, in the third pane, there's little images of the pattern pieces that go with the model. If I click on the individual piece, it'll show up the individual piece. If I want to multi-select the pieces, I can hold control to select ones that are not contiguous or continuous from on the list, or I can hold down the shift key and select all of them between the first and the last option. It'll only show up two pieces at a time. Down the bottom, you can see there's eight other selected data items. So that's how I can open up my pieces by clicking on them, or I can also, um, sorry, not open them up, but show what the pieces are in this preview pane. To open them up, to open them within the uh, pattern making software or any other part of the software, I can right click, I can choose open with, and pattern design is the software for pattern making. I'm also going to choose open separate work area. So once I click on that, it launches pattern design. You can see there's another splash screen showing there. When that one opens, I've got something that looks like this. Now, when you open up your version of um, the software, it will probably look more like this. If you just bear with me for a minute, I'll show you. Okay, we've got nest colours, text colours, miscellaneous, 
uh, work area. So in the work area, your colour scheme is probably um, possibly closer to a green colour with a bit of blue in it like that. So that's my screen colour that I'm changing. Apply, save and OK. So now this is probably a bit more like what you see in your work area. I'm going to place the pieces down in the work area now. So it tells me on this tab that it's C7501 with 10 pieces. It also says the same thing up here, that it's my device F, storage area 7501, and the style number or model name is 7501. So I can either click on each individual piece, it will attach to the screen, and then I can do that for each piece, or I can select all of them by holding my left mouse button down. When I get to the last option, clicking on it a second time, and automatically they will all fill in on the workspace. F10 will eliminate them from the workspace. Third option is right clicking with my mouse button and choosing one of the options from the drop down menu. So I'm going to trace, uh, choose place all tiled this time. And you can see that all the pieces have now been added to the workspace. I do whatever I need to do to adjust this pattern or adapt it or develop it further. Save all the pieces once they've been changed. And then to finish up, I would need to close down by going to the cross on the tab and choosing to close it. So that's getting pieces from Accumark Explorer into our workspace.